Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Thursday, January 19th. It's the second week after the Epiphany, and week two in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 1 to 17, and Isaiah 45, verse 5 to 17. And now, please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, do not fret because of the wicked and do not envy the workers of iniquity. Hallelujah, Psalm 37. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down and wither like the grass of the field. Trust in God and do good, and you will dwell in the land and be fed. Delight yourself in the Most High, and God shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit yourself to the Most High. Trust, and God shall act. God shall bring forth your righteousness like the light, and your judgment like the noonday sun. Rest in the Most High, and wait patiently. Fret not when the wicked prosper, who plot to bring down the needy and the poor. Cease your anger, and forsake your rage, do not fret, for it leads to evil. For the wicked shall perish, but those that wait on the Most High shall inherit the earth. For soon the wicked shall have gone. You cannot see their homes, because they are no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth and enjoy abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the just and gnash on them with their teeth. The Most High shall laugh at the wicked, for God sees that their day is coming. The wicked have drawn their sword, and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay the upright. But their swords shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken. What little the righteous have is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken but the Most High upholds the righteous. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not fret because of the wicked and do not envy the workers of iniquity. Hallelujah. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 45, beginning at verse 5. I am Yahweh, and there is no other. Besides me there is no God. I arm you, though you do not know me, so that they may know from the rising of the sun, and from the west that there is no one besides me. I am the Most High, and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make <clears throat> weal and create woe. <clears throat> I, the Most High, do all these things. Shower, O heavens, from above, <clears throat> and let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open that salvation may spring up, and let it cause righteousness to sprout up also. I, the Most High, have created it. Woe to you who strive with your maker, earthen vessels with the potter. Does the clay say to the one who fashions it, what are you making? Or your work has no handles. Woe to anyone who says to a father, what are you beginning? Or to a woman, with what are you in labor? Thus says the Most High, the Holy One of Israel, and its maker, 
Will you question me about my children or command me concerning the works of my hands? I made the earth and created humankind upon it. It was my hands that stretched out the heavens and I commanded all their host. I have aroused Cyrus in righteousness and I will make all his paths straight. And he shall build my city and set my exiles free, not for price or reward, says the Most High of hosts. Thus says the Most High, the wealth of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and the Sabines, tall of stature, shall come over to you and be yours. They shall follow you. They shall come over in chains and bow down to you. They will make supplication to you, saying, God is with you alone, and there is no other. There is no God besides him. Truly, you are a God who hides himself, O God of Israel, the Savior. All of them are put to shame and confounded. The makers of idols go in confusion together. But Israel is saved by the Most High with everlasting salvation and shall not be put to shame or confounded to all eternity. Here ends the lesson. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us in your paths, O God, and grant that we may ever find our delight in you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.